What is up YouTube? I lacerate from Team Armored here, bringing you new content on some demo play spots. Uh, let's start off with Site 1 here. Um, let's do the do's and don'ts, and this is definitely a don't here. Do not sit there. Um, this is a nade spot. This can be a nice spot to six. You get a nice peek at window there. You can cover your teammates at a pretty hefty angle here. Uh, moving on to this area, this is a better spot for scopes only in my opinion. Rifles should not ever play here. Um, this spot kind of blocks you off from, you know, the rest of everything. If every other spot's taken, this would be a better spot just to get that, that nice pick. Uh, some help recovery from window there. Uh, don't sit here and definitely don't sit here. Those are just bad locations. Don't sit here either. Um, if you're covering this site on a defensive outlook and window's already covered, this is a nice spot to sit. Um, sitting up here is a pretty aggressive play. You can be wall banged through here. Um, definitely watch out uh, for this area. This area is you know, has a high chance of getting rushed and uh, you really don't want to be a part of that. Um, in case you are one of the pushing individuals, the nades uh, should normally come out. And if you can, uh, this spot is very playable as well as it is wall bangable for both ways. You can wall bang roughly around here. You can definitely wall bang this spot to get those desired picks. Playing inside of tunnel on defense gives you nothing in return. You really don't want to play inside this tunnel. Um, you're blocked in. You break the window for them. Um, there's just, just stay out of tunnel if you're on defense. Um, because if you're stuck here and there's a scope there, you know you have a really hard time getting out of that position unless you can wall bang him here. Um, as far as pushing up, I wouldn't push up out here unless um, you know it's a for sure site uh, to take. Then I would, you know, rotate over either through flank or I'll rotate over by throwing a smoke up and in here. Mission Just that way you complete. can get across and over in case there was a scope playing there. To site two, I would highly suggest doing um, crossfires as a team team based gameplay. Uh, this is a nade spot with an M16 or M67 grenade from right here uh, inside there. It'll bounce there and hit there. And if you're here, it's kind of hard to run away from. If you're around over here, this is still a nade spot, but it's a lot safer. Plus, if someone comes down those stairs, you can get that nice easy uh, layout there. Uh, playing here on defense is a great spot because um, if the scope's peaking, he's normally going to be peaking up here, not down here. So if you see him first, you can just get that easy headshot pick, easy headshot pick, um, and as long as blue room's covered, you should be fine in here. Do not sit here. If you're going to sit anywhere, sit here because sitting here just makes it a longer duration for you to get up and around this corner to help your other teammates. I would definitely sit somewhere around here and always shift over this because this is a sound everybody can remember. If you make this sound of the metal over anything, that could that could lead to problems. So shift here and then to about here. If you have any issues, you should be able to get around the corner and get the peak. Um, like I said, don't sit anywhere inside sight except for where I've shown you. Um, I've seen scopes sit back here and get decent picks. I've seen scopes sit back here and get decent picks. Scopes that sit here die more than scopes that sit there because of that huge gap you have to run just to get behind decent cover. Um, as far as blue room goes, blue room is a scopes territory. Um, there really isn't anything that rifles should be doing in here unless all scopes are down and you're just covering the site and Let's say this location, this location, that location is already covered or, you know, it doesn't need to be covered. This now becomes a location where you should be covering this window um, from a decent angle like so. Um, moving on.
There's a really sweet nade spot I'd like to show you here uh, at the end of the video, so be sure to check it out. Uh, as far as playing aggressively inside two, uh, there is a few places people like to sit. Uh, playing at stairs is a nice place. Normally you shouldn't push up any farther than this because if there's one, two, maybe even three people passing through here, you have an easy out back to the rotation spot and you have the call out and your teammates here ready for the picks. Maybe even a scope can rotate from blue up into here and your rifle from here can move up into here. Um, as far as you know covering a that rifle can now cover window and the sniper can now help you receive coverage for the stairs um, I've seen people play crossfires here where one person will be sitting uh, roughly here and the one rifle will be here ready to pre-fire and one rifle could be up here ready for the dual crossfire and you know just if you push anywhere out here there will be a scope here, and there will be a rifleman here. It's just a very bad spot to be as a rifle. It does get naded very often. Um, just a kill zone. Stay out of it. If you can, be here, or even even better, have a teammate with you that can cover this dual crossfire zone. Um, easy picks there. And you both can rotate out very simply and very easily. Um, as far as playing mid... Um, the rifles, the rifle at this location should be rotating over to that side as soon as the callout's made. Say three guys just, you know, bear hop that corner and two of them got picked and one backed out. The first thing you should do is you should head over and the rifle should be, there should be a rifle here covering mid because I've seen so many plays where the scope is in mid rotation and the rifle comes in and the rifle misses the guy that's up here and if that guy gets through here and around it's GG so having another rifle here just in case every spot in there is fulfilled leaves you nice and open for that pick here and possible pick here and the rotation back into sight in case they rotate themselves other than that that should be everything we need to cover I do have a few nade spots that I would like to show you Say you were the rifle car guarding this room when the scope rotated out and went to that corner. Um, I've seen some people play here and watch that room. But if someone made a call out at DD, what you can easily do is you can line up this shot right here. Um, feel free to pause the video and get a nice uh, outlook. Boom. Anyone at DD's done. Um, I've seen nice nade spots on offense as well that you would probably like to take a look at. This is a really nice nade spot uh, for, say, uh, we're pushing one here and you know they're going to start rotating soon. Uh, what you can do is there's like this little heart shape on the cloud right here around my cursor. You want to aim in that general area, run, jump, feel free to pause the video. And if you look up ahead here, boom, say that person was sitting here and they're like, oh crap, they're at DD. Boom, if you time that nade right, they're done. Um, another fantastic nade spot uh, we call baloney spot because he uses it day in and day out. Um, or you used to at least. It's where you match up right about here. Boom! Scope's at peak there. He can even get it inside that, uh... It's probably underneath right about there. Boom! Anybody too close to that bridge is done. And also, uh, right here. Boom. Whatever's easier, I guess. Other than that, um, everything else should be pretty much common sense, and good luck. That's it for me, YouTube. Feel free to like, comment, uh, subscribe. Let me know what kind of content that you'd like to see in the future, and I'll be sure to provide it to you. Thanks, guys. Peace.